One of the reasons that we were so excited to work with Silent Herdsman was I think they've taken advantage of the powerful but low power consuming devices that are available now. Being able to get a large amount of compute power into a very small package and have a battery life of several years. They're also using that to solve uh, a real-world problem in quite an innovative way, so that was very exciting for us. What we were able to do is say, well look, we can create a solution in the cloud, we can use some of the great features of Amazon, especially around the elasticity, which means we can start small and then scale things up as we need to, and then also build a mobile web app that would connect to these servers in the cloud and make that data available. The ThoughtWorks proposal focused not only on providing a technological solution but also providing business analysis, uh, interactions with the customers and going out and doing the research to work out what our customers wanted, not what we wanted. So I've been out user testing at a farm. We started off doing paper prototypes with the farmers and we're just getting their initial feedback and then we've iterated on that during this process and they've got to interactive prototype where they're actually able to touch it and now today we can actually use the test then with the final application. In the end we want to make this as easy as possible for them to be able to serve cows and we want to know what features we can build to make the farmer's life easier. So we're comfortable that by building this out in the cloud in the way we have we can scale up we can cope with very large amounts of data without having to go and rebuild anything. I think the other area that's really interesting is going to other regions and geographies. And again, because we're using Amazon and because we've automated everything, we can take the scripts that we've run against the European Amazon instances and go and run them in the US. And basically recreate the entire environment in the US or the Far East very, very quickly. So those are, I think, two key areas where we could go next.